and uh, I had the privilege of uh, being in command of success uh, from 98 through to 2000. Um, and when the opportunity presented for me to uh, spend some time in success is uh, in my last uh, night at sea, um, I leapt at it. It was an opportunity I wasn't going to miss. Uh, success, um, like every command, and like every ship a sailor serves in, is something very special. So uh, it's been wonderful to be able to come back to sea in success and spend some time uh, with the ship's company, um, and in particular this morning to uh, re-enter Sydney Harbour for the last time. Uh, it's a wonderful occasion, brings back lots of, uh, lots of wonderful memories. In the first six months, uh, I had the opportunity to get out and talk to our Navy about what it is they wanted to do. Um, and the very strong message I got was that we needed to take a different direction in terms of preparing ourselves for the future, to get ourselves into the contemporary cultural space. And that's, that's what formed our thinking around new generation Navy. Um, and it's been a great privilege to have the opportunity to lead Navy into the beginning of that journey. We've still got a long way to go um, and it's important that we continue that journey and I know it will continue. Um, but what I see in our fleet, what I see in our establishments, what I see generally around our Navy now is really exciting. Um, and I see a real appetite uh, for us to prepare ourselves for what's coming at us in Force 2030 into the future. And I think it's really exciting. Sir, um, you know, the, the instigator of uh, our New Generation Navy program has not really been, been me. I've had the privilege of leading it for the last three years. I think the instigator of our New Generation Navy program has really been the people in our Navy. Um, when I came into the position, as I said, uh, we, um, we looked at what we needed to do, prepare ourselves for the future, and then had a conversation with our Navy, a broad cross-section of people in our Navy. Uh, and what that said to us was we needed to take a, a different approach to prepare ourselves for the future force, um, to prepare ourselves for the technologies that are coming at us um, very quickly. Um, new LHDs will arrive very shortly, um, new technologies that we will need to deal with, new concepts of operating at sea, um, different generational um, members joining our Navy. We needed to prepare properly. And I was really excited when I saw that um, our Navy was ready for this generational change. Um, and it's been a wonderful journey. Um, we're not there yet, we've still got a long way to go. Um, but um, I think we're well down the path and I think it's a really, really exciting program. I think what I would like to say to the Navy, uh, as I leave, um, is say thank you for all the support that, that I've had uh, over not just the last three years with the privilege of being the Chief, uh, but over nearly 41 years worth of service. I've known Vice Admiral Griggs for many, many years and uh, I can tell you uh, it's in great hands. Um, our, our leadership team has operated as a united team for a long time now um, and Admiral Griggs um, is an excellent man for the job and I know that he will lead Navy uh, extremely well into the future.